this tutorial, AutoDrive Guy is going to show you how to make routes around a large field using AutoDrive and the GPS mod together. The AutoDrive Guy here. Just thought I'd show you um, a junction and a field using GPS. So the first thing you want to do is alter and see. We'll put your lines up on GPS. You want to go uh, control left and S that brings up GPS. Now, all I use is set A, set cardinal. Basically, what that does, if you look at your point here on your mini map, if it faces that way, it's north and so on around the uh, compass. If it faces here, what I normally do is control S. One set cardinal. That's one. If it's facing this way, I normally go control left S. I go set A, set cardinal, then turn it 90. That's 90 degrees. So then it faces from left to right, vice versa. So the first thing you're going to do: hold your mouse over record, hold down the left shift button, and right click your mouse. That brings up a two-way priority. Basically, we're just going to put that onto the field. Try not to go over too much of the field. I don't go to the edges because the edges are very uneven. So when you set up there, you know about that far away, it's perfect. Then we go to left control and S. Sorry, let me show you that again. Look, that bit there. That means north side. You want to go once there, I want to go twice, what I just point it out, so left control and S, so I only go once, set cardinal, press escape key, press your trigger, I've got a space bar set up on my line, and then I'll press free on the keyboard, which is cruise control, take it out a little bit, and then you want to try and see what, um, field you on, press your escape key, we're on field 12. So field 12, take off your uh, your line, press your target, and we go F12. This is the way I do it all. Which is F12, which is field 12, tractor and weight. Press OK. Then you want to right click your mouse over record. That brings up a two-way no priority, which is blue line, and just press your number three. As you can see here, I've set the speed on maximum 45. And then you have the boring job of going around your field. But this makes it easier, because you don't have to worry about your line. It's all being taken control of with GPS. This will only be done on square fields. a little slidey curve, no rush on your curves, and when you got to that, if you look at here now, your little arrow on the mini map is facing left, so it's never eat shredded wheat, that's the way I do it, so we go never eat shredded wheat, so that's facing west, and that's going to be two, so left control, holding down, and then pressure S, brings up your GPS, so you're going to go set A, set cardinal and then turn it 90 press escape key press your trigger a little bit to put your line in I've got my line set up on spacebar you can have it set on whatever you want and then press your free key and then away you go again if you look at the edges if you look down you see some of them are very uneven but if you leave it on the field it's not so uneven I know people say about you know, going away round the field and then back out. It's a long way round, but you have no collisions. You have no worries about trees being here. If it's uneven. You've got no worries, and you know the field. Most of it is uh, all nice and flat on this map, anyway. There is maps where you've got loads of trees. Some you've got no trees. Some people like to run it on the edge. So then you harvest them when it's going round on the your, your headland. 
your tractor and trailer can run down there. So we're just going to slow it down. And then slow it. Turn again. And if you look at here now, it's facing never eat shredded, so it's south. So it's on a one. So left control, holding down, and the S brings it up. And you only want one, you don't want to do a 90. Press escape key, a little bit on the trigger on your gamepad, and away you go again. And this keeps it nice and straight. As I say, you, you got no worries. I'll be tracked to veering off. Just slow it down on the corner. And then just come round at an angle. Nice sweeping angle. And this would be two. So it's never eat, so it'd be facing east. First one and two. Left control. And this. So you want one, which I call that as one. And I call that as a 92. It will be on your trigger, space bar. Away we go again. So that's what I mean by uneven. And if you look over this side now, if you run it here, you run it at an angle. It's not flat. So on this particular map, I put all my lines on the bills. I prefer it on the you haven't got to go around trees, you haven't got to go around posts and things like that. So we're coming up to where the junction is because there's the, the waypoint. So off the trigger, slow it down a little bit. And you want to stop it about there, nice distance away. And you don't want your line there, there. You want it about there. They just hold your mouse over it, then you pull back on your scroll wheel to get a nice arc, which is about there. Then you want to come forward. At this stage, you can turn your GPS off, which is Alter and C, holding down Alter, and then just press C, turn your GPS off, Alter and C on, Alter and C off. It's easy as that. We do enough fields like me, you, you soon get the hang of things. Then you just hold the mouse in your chosen place, hold down your left control key, keeping it held down, left click your mouse, puts down your notes. This one's a bit tricky, but you want to put a little blue one there, bring it over a little bit, to there. Don't forget, always join up. another blue line there. This makes the tractor wait up here when another tractor's coming round here, vice versa here. The tractor will wait back here like one's coming round here. And then you just want to join up your junction. You want that slightly over. So holding down your right mouse key and drag it. And hold your click on your mouse there, which is your left click, pull back your scroll wheel get a nice arc, you don't want it sh too sharp like that, you want a nice arc, a left click off, and that's a bit near, so holding down your right mouse, swing that over a little bit, and left click your mouse, hold it on the, your node there, pull back, a nice arc, now you want to go left on your mouse, hold your mouse over there, and you want to be left on your shift, holding that down, and then left on your mouse. Same again, but you want to go pressing this down with your left mouse button, holding your mouse on there and left control key or CTRL. That puts it into another uh, two-way and that's how you want it and left click your mouse. Then the same again, left click your mouse, hold your mouse over there 
left shift, hold it down and left click your mouse. And then the same again but with the control key, hold down the control key and left click your mouse. There we go, there's two solid lines which is two um, two one two one way with priority. You could do it with blue lines, but then sometimes when the tractor comes down it veers off and goes around it because it's a blue line it'll follow. If you want to be a nice you want to go from there to there, so when your tractor comes down, you don't if it's here it comes over too quickly, too sharp, so you want a nice gradual line coming over. We'll reverse back now so we can see this line. And the same with that one. You can either go there. Or you look where your next one is, and you can pull that back up a little bit, right, hold your mouse, and just drag. And then left click your mouse, puts another line down. If you look here, you can see your lines. So that one slightly out, and just right click your mouse slightly over. And the same with that. And so you get your lines nice and parallel. If you look there, if we zoom in on that one. We'll bring that one over slightly by holding your right mouse. Come in a bit nearer to strain everything up. Right click your mouse, right click your mouse. Then your middle mouse button shows your line, which is pretty straight. So I hope that help, helps you guys. It's another tutorial. I'll be bringing out a few more. If you want any uh, videos done, or you're not sure about anything, let me know. I'll try and put a video up for you guys. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and like the channel. Please watch a few videos. It helps to grow my channel. Thank you very much. Auto Drive Guy. Bye-bye. Please subscribe, like and share this video and thanks for watching.